let's get started on that grid. Five, four, three, two, one, start. Okay, so. Okay, are we back on? Looks like it on my end. Um, today we are going to do, just start off with a few basic um, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division with decimals. Um, so if you're feeling confident because you've been to the last few streams and you've seen me do this a bunch of times, then put me on mute and see if you can get through um, and post your answers into the chat before um, I get them done. I mean, I'm going to be going fairly slow and talking through every little minor detail. So you should beat me if you're just cracking straight into it. So let's get started on that. All right. I'll try and keep it so everything is always on the screen. Uh, here we are. Oh. All right. Um, number one. First, we want to rewrite this um, using our math book squares so that everything's in the right spot. There we go. And our decimal places are lined up. I should use a lot of different pens. Um, okay, and now we're just adding, starting from the right, moving across. Nine and six makes 15. Carry one up. One and five and zero makes six. No carrying over. Four and eight makes uh, 12, carry that over, um, 1, 3 and 0 makes 4, no carrying, 2 and 9, uh, 2 and 7 makes 9, and 1 is that, 194.265, Josh got it before me, well done Josh, alright, moving on to the subtraction, what do we need to do? We need to line up our digits, so we'll put everything into the squares and 65.564. All right, uh, and then I'll change to a green pen to solve it. Uh, 3 minus 4, we can't do it. So we need to take one off the seven so to send, if we're taking one from the next column over we're bringing it over we're bringing 10 units of the other column over so this is now a 13 13 minus 4 is 9 6 minus 6 is nothing 2 minus 5 we can't do it we need to borrow uh, cross out the 8, make it a 7, drag 10 over to make a 12, 12 minus 5 is 7, uh, 7 minus 5 is 2, 1 minus 6, we can't do it, we need to borrow, 11 minus 6 is 5, 8 minus 4 is 4, Five, uh, 452.709, we got a few getting it, well done Precious, well done Marin. Um, all right, the multiplication one. Um, so I'll try and do it the same way I did last time. So if I put a 0 0.001 underneath it, it's the same scale. Um, and then all you need to do is pull out those digits. So 381 is what is the whole number we're going to multiply. And then over here with 0 0.92, we've got 0 0.01, um, and that's times by uh, 
92. So now if we just do this, that's just a, a regular um, algorithm multiplication we can do. And these, a good way to think of this is you count up all the zeros and that's how many times we're going to have to move our decimal point. So we've got five zeros, so we're going to have, whoops, five moves at the end. One, two, three, four, five. Um, that's why it helps to do actually, sometimes you can write decimals just 0 0.01, but if you put that zero there, then you actually, it helps with the counting uh, up how much you're going to have to move it. So it's worth doing that. Uh, all right. I might need a bit more space for this. I'm going to change this. Well, actually, I might just drag the 92 underneath, and then I don't have to write. Oh. Oh. Uh, we won't do that. I'll just rewrite it. 381 times 92. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to need a bit more space, so. Sorry about this, guys. Poor planning. I'll just drag it over there. I'll keep it so you can still do the other one if you are already racing through and on to number four. All right. Um, Two times one is two. Two times eight is 16. Carry one over. Two times three is six. Plus one makes seven. Um, moving on to the nine, which is a 90. So we need a zero placeholder there. Nine times one is nine. Nine times eight, 72. So dragon seven over. Nine times three is 27 plus 7 makes 34. Add those together, we're going to get 2 and 0 is 2, 6 and 9 is 5, or 15. 1 and 7 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 4 and 1 is 5. So we have 3052, and then you're right, we've got to move our decimal point. One, two, three, four, five. Zero point three five zero five two. And well done, Emma, precious. Uh, actually, pretty much all of you got it. Actually, you got your digits around the wrong way. Um, precious, but that's okay. Uh, next one, number four. <laughs> this is a good way to, to do it actually you post your answers in the chat so uh, when we're rounding to two decimal places um, we are only really concerned about what's in the uh, second decimal place everything else well actually we're concerned about the next one over because that is whether it rounds up or not so um, the number that comes after the second decimal place, is it bigger than a 5? It is, so it's going to round our number up. So our final answer for this one is 0 0.46. All right, B. So we are concerned about what's in the second decimal place. Uh, the number before it is a nine, which is bigger than five, so it's gonna round up that digit. So we're left with 0 0.31. Um, and over here, um, what's in the five? Uh, the second decimal place is a five, 
but the number before it is less than um, than five, so it it doesn't have any effect. So you just get rid of whatever comes after it, even if it's extra digits. Those are all gone, so your number just finishes there. And technically, these are all zeros now, however long your your digit was. But you don't need to write the zeros. All right, I might just leave you with D. If you're out there, type in the answer for D. Are you sure? Nine one. <laughs> Interesting. This one is actually a, a, a bit of a trick. Ah, oh, there we go. Well done, Precious and Emma. Precious and Emma got it. I'll show you how this one works. This one is is the situation where rounding becomes a little bit confusing, but not really once you understand what's going on. So we're we're in um, we're looking at the second decimal place. Um, so the number before it is a seven. So that's going to round up a nine. Now, when a nine gets rounded up becomes a 10 or a 0 so that means that there's a 1 that comes over into the next uh, column so this is a 0 and your 8 is a 9 and the rest of the number is still the same so even though the 0 isn't adding any extra value to the, um, the number you've still got uh, two decimal places yeah um, I'm interested to know how you came up with 8-1 where does, where does the 9-1 come from Oh, that might be too hard to explain through the chat. I'll just, I'll move on. Okay. So, estimating is kind of like rounding to decimal places, but we use a different form of rounding. It's called uh, rounding to significant figures. Um, so when you're multiplying... Um, and you're estimating. You could, uh, oh, I might, let's just get a, uh, where's the calculator? Okay, so for this problem, if you were to do it on a calculator, you could just do 123 times 88, and that would be our answer, what, 10,824. 10, um, but when we're estimating, uh, we, we don't want to do this, in our, this problem in our heads. Um, we want to just get close to the answer right so that's the actual but when you estimate that's not the right answer so if you write the actual answer that you put into your calculator you're not estimating you're just you're calculating it um, so what when you're given a problem that asks you to estimate 
then you are supposed to just round your numbers um, to the closest. Um, so digit here. So the 88 that would round to a 90. So whatever's in the first, the leftmost column of the number, you just want to round as close as you can to it. So the 8 that's beside it, this 2, it doesn't round it up. Uh, so it just becomes 100 and 90. So an estimate for this is about, well, nine, 1 times 9, you can do that in your head, and then you're just putting um, three zeros on it. Um, but yeah, um, you can see that it's a little bit off, but you've uh, 9,010... 1,800 uh, are reasonably close. Like you're you're within 10 percent. So whenever you round off by, you usually get between 10 percent. So I'll I'll do another one to um, help you out. So if we did 300 and Six times then if we were estimating this we just want to be looking at these first numbers do they need to be rounded up or down so 306 isn't going to get rounded up so it's going to be the cl a nice round number to 306 is 300 and then 8,900, well, the 9 would is really close to um, tipping it over to 9,000. So we're just going to multiply 300 and 9,000, and that'll get us um, uh, well, 3 times 9 is 27, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then I come back and put my commas in last, because you count from uh, the other side. So that's the uh, estimated, and this one here is the actual, so let's see how close it was this time. 306 times two seven two nine eight two six two seven two nine eight two six. Whoa, that was pretty impressive. If you remembered that number, Mr. Deli. But you can see most of the value is in the first two digits, right? Um, and we got those practically correct in this situation so really um, we've estimated pretty well but we're only um, using our um, basic multiplication skills and then just tagging zeros on the end um, okay so